Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're going to be talking about Pythagoras Theorem. Pythagoras Theorem is about right angle triangles. And when we've got a right angle triangle, we can label it A, B and C. C is always the longest length of the triangle opposite the right angle and A and B are the other two sides, doesn't matter which way around they go. Now I can show you some other triangles labelled A, B and C here and just notice that each time C is the longest side of the triangle opposite the right angle. Now Pythagoras theorem tells us that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That means that the length of A squared plus the length of B squared is equal to the length of C squared. That is a really famous equation in mathematics and it's true for every single right angle triangle and we can use it for a lot of problems in mathematics. So let's see an example. Here we have a triangle. It's a right angle triangle and it's got uh, one side three centimetres, another side uh, is four centimetres and we want to find the missing side here which is x. And what we know is that uh, the three centimetres is a, the four centimetres is b and the x is the c. So we always start by labelling the sides a, b and c. We place the letters in the equation for Pythagoras theorem. The 3 is the a, the 4 is the b, and then the x is what we want to find, that's where c goes. So we, now we can start solving it. 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. So you can write 9 plus 16 is x squared and 9 plus 16 is 25. So 25 is equal to x squared. So what do you think x is? Well you should know that the square root of 25 is 5 so x is 5 centimetres. On your calculator you can use this button here and the square root button uh, to find the opposite of squaring something. So the square root of 25 is 5 and we know that is 5 centimetres. Now we have another question here and uh, we have one side is 8.9 metres, another side is 7 metres and we want to find the other side. So we start by labelling the sides A, B and C like this, A, B and C and this time we are given C uh, and we want to find one of the other sides. This makes it a little bit more complicated and you will have to do a bit of rearranging here. Let's start by putting the numbers in. A is 7 and C is 8.9. And we can uh, fill in the X as B. 7 squared is 49. And 8.9 squared, so you can use your calculator, is 79.21. Now, it says 49 plus X squared. So we're going to do the opposite of adding 49. We're going to subtract. So you subtract 49 from both sides and we get x squared is equal to 30.21. Now we're going to square root both sides using our calculator. So let's go square root 30.21 and we get x is equal to 5.4963, etc. But we'll just round that to one decimal place, 5.5 meters. And we know that x is 5.5 meters. Okay, that's Pythagoras theorem. That's how we work out missing sides in a right angle triangle. You will use this every time you have a right angle triangle and you have two uh, lengths labelled and you want to find the third missing length. There's some practice questions for you to try here, so I'd like to pause the video and try this yourself. It should take you about five to ten minutes. So when you finish, you can come back and I'll reveal the answers for you in three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. We have plenty more videos coming out every week. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.